It's Sunday, May 8th, and this is day four of my weight loss vlog. So yesterday I asked you for something you couldn't live without and to um, get any questions from you that you had for me. So I got a couple of responses, and I just want to say I'm thankful for that, that people are actually willing to respond to what I have to say. Let's see here. We have Jack139 who said she could not live without Twister ice cream, Diet Coke, and protein bars. I used to be like that, actually. I used to say I could not live without Diet Coke. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I've gone, I think, at least a month now without any soda, without um, any juice, without soda, without juice, without all of that stuff. Um, it's been at least a month, a month and a week, maybe. Um, and so it, it gets easier as it passes by for me to not want it. Um, I used to be so addicted to Diet Coke. Sorry, I'm looking at my dog. This is my little puppy, Lily. She's a ham. She's a Shih Tzu Pekingese mix. <clears throat> and she's a year old. And she's biting my hand. Um, I, yeah, I couldn't, I used to, I used to not be able to live without Diet Coke. But now, I don't even think about it. I don't want it. I don't buy it. I don't look at it at the store. I don't pass it. But that's just me. Um, and then, Lynn's Day. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I was trying to go off what I what I thought it pronou was pronounced like. Um, had two questions for me. One, where am I located? I live in Ohio, in the U.S. Um, <clears throat> I was born and raised in Cincinnati. But I actually, I moved up uh, about an hour away from there to just get away from my parents. I was going through that rebellious phase. Um, and I thought my parents were the enemy. And, but now I'm actually moving back down towards Cincinnati to um, move in with my mom here soon. Um, to save up some money so I can go down to the college I wanted to go down to in Kentucky. And how do you deal with negative comments you get on your vlogs if you get any? <clears throat> that's an awesome question I actually I had one on my first vlog and I haven't seen the person since but the person uh, posted a comment six days ago when I put my first vlog up um, and it and it said pretty sure that there's a weight loss saw weight loss site for a vlog like this boring and so I had a response to that person, and I thought I was pretty dignified in responding, especially since it was, you know, my video. Um, but I didn't want to sound like I was power mad. I didn't want to sound rude. I just wanted to sound like, I guess, I wanted, I didn't want to sound condescending either. I just wanted to, I, I wanted to defend myself, I guess, because I'm a very defensive person when it comes like that. But um, I ended up responding um, a day after the comment, and I said, there's a lot of weight loss sites, to be perfectly honest. Only one holds me accountable, and that's my fitness pal, but they don't have videos on there, so I turned to YouTube. The only thing I can say is this, if you don't like it, don't watch it. Because obviously, you know, it's a choice to watch a video. You have to click on a video at first, and if you don't like it, then don't keep watching it. That's pretty simple, right? I mean, it's a choice. You make the choice. If you watch the entire video, that's your choice. If you didn't like the entire video, well, yeah, that's fine. That's your opinion, but you don't have to go boasting it everywhere, especially if you're going to uh, insult it. I mean, you can there's a there's a fine line between say stating your opinion and crossing the line. And the person stated their their opinion but then crossed the line. And so that was the only reason I responded. Because I felt they went just a smidge too far. Now if they had said, if they would asked why I was doing this. Or if they didn't like it, that's fine. I'd have been like, okay, thank you for your opinion. I'm cool with that. Great job. You voiced your opinion. I'm so proud of you. But... To sit there and insult it. See, that's that's what killed me on that. Um, so that was the um, only negative comment I've gotten so far, thankfully. Uh, I, you, whenever you can't see me, 
I don't deal well with negative comments, um, but that's a thing I'm working on. It's a process. And, excuse me, sorry. Whew. Um, just swallowed my breath the wrong way for some reason. Anyway, um, it's, you know, it's a weird thing. Um, I, normally I don't do well with negative comments, but that's the only one I've gotten so far. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I'm so, so thankful that you all are, all of you that are watching my videos are so nice and you're commenting. And even if you're not commenting and you're watching it and you don't have something nice to say, you're not saying it, so thank you. I appreciate that too. Um, you, you're, more, you're always more than welcome to state your opinion when it comes to me. Um, I do it to other people too. I state my opinion all the time. Um, but when it comes to crossing the line and starting to insult somebody or something, then I have a problem with that. So even if you have an opinion on my video and you don't like it, you can state it. You can, I, I, I appreciate the feedback. So leave comments below. I love comments. I love reading comments and I love checking YouTube to find comments. I'm like, yes, it's awesome. Okay, so today was weigh-in and measure day. Um, last week was really bad for exercise for me. Um, I, there's just been so much going on with um, planning this trip to New York for my grandma's family reunion to oh, to working on the house, to getting it fixed up so that way we can sell it, to working on packing trying to um, get down to my mom's house a little bit quicker so I can get another job. It's just it's so, so crazy. So anyway, um, today I, I weighed in last week at 387.6. And so I'd hit my first goal of losing 5%. So I'm actually very proud of that. Um, and when I measured my, when I, excuse me, when I measured myself on Monday, I'd actually lost a total of 13 and a quarter inches and so I was thinking this week I'm like wow that was really a lot I, I think my body just needs to play catch up this week because that was a lot of inches to lose um, and so my exercise wasn't good my diet was all right um, last night was pretty bad in terms of food I mean I ate within my calorie limit on my fitness pals but I just I think I ate way too much for dinner and so I have to watch that. I definitely have to watch that. But it was a good dinner. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, so this morning I weighed myself and I weighed 386.2. So I still lost um, a pound, 1.2 pounds. And I'm, I'm so proud the scale didn't go up. I'm proud that it stayed down. Um, and I lost a total of 5.75 inches from various parts of my body. I was actually very surprised that my um, my bust, how no, was my bust, my neck and my hips stayed the same. So, um, but everywhere else I lost a, at least a quarter of an inch. I think I lost quite a few in my thighs, which surprised me quite a bit. I definitely wasn't prepared for that. Or it could just be that I measured in two different places, and that would explain for, for all of that. So I gotta make sure I regulate where I'm measuring, so that way I don't, you know, don't have that problem. Um, let's see. So that's that. Um, isn't really much else to talk about. Um, I'm doing a couple of different challenges on my fitness pals, and so I posted to them today. Also, um, I made a deal with my grandma and, um, I really, I'm, I really, 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 really love Johnny Depp. I mean, really. And, um, I have like every movie he's ever done, um, seen every movie he's ever been in. Um, I'm looking to find 21 Jump Street on DVD if I can find it somewhere looking for it. I know it's online. Um, I know it's on Netflix and it's on uh, CBS.com. You can watch all the episodes. 
And I've seen them all, but I still want it on DVD just to have it, you know, so I can watch it whenever I want. And, um, but, um, so Pirates of the Caribbean 4, um, on Stranger Tides is coming out May 20th, if you didn't know. Shameless plug. And I really want to go see it. And so I figured the only way I would be able to keep myself going is to challenge myself. And so um, I made a deal with my grandma that if I get down to 375 by the 20th of May, so that's like less than two weeks away from now, which is only 11 pounds, I know I can do it. Um, if I get down to 375 on or before and keep it at 375 or below by the 20th of May, we'll go see Pirates of the Caribbean that weekend. So that's my challenge there. Um, so I hope y'all are having a good weekend. Um, that's about it for me today. Um, comments, questions below? Let's see. Um, so today's question for you guys. Hmm. I gotta think of one had one like a few minutes ago and then I started talking about Johnny Depp and got lost and lost the question um question for you this is gonna be a two-parter there's gonna be like two questions okay ready first question what are your workouts like what are you doing is there anything you're doing regularly um like couch to 5k Jillian's 30 Day Shred, A Biggest Loser DVD, whatever. Whatever you're doing consistently, um, let me know. And then question number two, what's one thing in your diet you cannot live without? I know you need fruits and vegetables and all that stuff, but what's one particular food item you keep coming back to on your diet? Um, let's see. My, I, my, my, um, Workout, I've been I've been doing couch to 5K, and I'm so ready for tomorrow to happen so I can do start so I can start week two. I'm so addicted right now. Uh, I I I've always wanted to be a runner, always, and so I'm so ready to. I want to be able to run consistently, and I know it's gonna burn a lot a lot of calories for me, especially since I'm so heavy still. But I can't wait until that time when I can run for 30 minutes straight or run for an hour. Um, and as far as my diet goes, chicken, oh, sorry, chicken is my big thing. I love, um, I'm getting fresh. I used to be getting bags of frozen chicken and I stopped doing that. So now I'm only buying fresh chicken and... So fresh uh, chicken, fresh boneless chicken breast. I know there's still a little bit of like rib meat in there processed wise, but it's still better than the frozen stuff. So that's what I can't live without. That's what's in my diet. So um, let me know. Comment below. Questions for me. I'll answer tomorrow's video. And I will see you then. Bye. Oh, look at you, you little ham. Look at you, you little ham. Oh. Aren't you just so cute? Aren't you just so cute?